Hey everyone, I'm Kronos, and this is part 3 of my Baldur's Gate 3 Honor Mode Speedrun and Achievement Tutorial on Patch 6. This part will cover the rest of Act 2 up until we enter Act 3. As always, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe to stay updated for more videos to come. So here, this is the end of Act 2 where we just uh, defeated Catherick. And here we're going to go ahead and recruit Jahira. And Jahira can be in multiple uh, different areas depending on how you did the Shadowheart cutscene with the Night Song. If you get uh, the good cutscene, you should have Jahira in this room at Moonrise Towers. If your cutscene gets interrupted sometimes, Jahira will not be here and Jahira will a spawn at the end of the act in the camp. Otherwise, if Jahira's in neither of those two places, then Jahira has not like joined our party because we didn't do the Night Song cutscene overlap properly. So we have to make sure that Jahira's in either here or at camp at the end of the act. If she isn't, then you'll need to restart the run. So. It's quite unfortunate, but it shouldn't happen as long as you do the night scene cutscene properly. So from here, we're going to go ahead and recruit Jahira. If she's here, we're just going to talk to her right here. Uh, choose option one for all of them. So we want to say you want to join me and join me now. So now that Jahira has joined our party, we're going to go ahead and join up all our group members as we start making our way out of Moonrise Towers since we can't travel since it's a danger zone right here. But before we do that, we want to jump to Barkus or Walbrin here. Not Barkus. But for Walbrin, we're going to talk to him and he's going to give us gold. So we say option one for thank you and then we're just going to leave the dialogue and he'll give us at least 200 gold which is enough to respect Jahira here. From here, we're just going to jump our way out, up to this door, and we'll hit the cutscene here, so I like to jump past the cutscene, and it'll happen. Just smash through the first dialogue option as we jump out, and once we reach outside here, we should be able to travel to Road to Baldur's Gate. And once we're at Road to Baldur's Gate, we should be able to long rest here. Uh, sometimes Jahira can get stuck. Like, for instance, if one of your characters is not, like, far enough this? here, you might have to wait for them to come, like, far enough to travel. It's just kind of finicky. But here, once everyone's out, we're going to go ahead and long rest here. Since if you just uh, go to camp, I believe it can be buggy, for instance. So we're going to long rest, and that should get Withers to camp as well here. Uh, you don't need to do this if uh, Jahira is going to be at the end of the site. At the uh, end of the act in the campsite uh, after. But here, if you have Jahira already, if you just long rest here, Jahira will appear right next to Withers, which is perfect to respect here. Ah, I shall be here so I right can. here we're going to talk to Withers with Jahira, and we're going to mention a cost here, so options 3 and 2, and we're going to change First. our class for Jahira, and we're going to respect her into a fighter. So with our fighter, Jahira, we're going to max out strength and dexterity, so 17 strength, 16 dex, and then 15 constitution and the strength is for uh, just being able to throw all the gif yankee at the end of the act the dexterity is for the initiative and the constitution is for health and uh, constitution checks towards the end of the game so once we do that we're just going to level up Shahira and we're going to just keep selecting except here for this first level for our subclass, we're going to choose Eldritch Knight. This is for the cantrip for Mage Hand, which is very important. The other one doesn't matter. 
for our spells, we're going to want to make sure that we're going to be replacing them. So it doesn't matter what spells you choose here, but in Expanded, we're going to want to choose Enhanced Sleep, and then for the next level, should be Feather Fall, we'll be replacing one of them. So for level 4, doesn't matter what spell, we're going to replace one of these other two spells that we selected before for Feather Fall. And for our feet, we're going to choose Ability Improvement, so we get 19 Strength here. For our next level, uh, this part doesn't matter, so we just hit Accept. For level 6, we're going to choose our next feat, which will be Alert for Bonus Initiative. And then for this level, we're going to choose whatever spells here. And then for our last level to here, we're going to choose Invisibility for our last expanded spell. And then our last feat we'll take is Athlete of 20. So we get 20 strength. And this lets us a like be able to throw the Gif Yankee. From there, I believe these next levels for our tav are pretty optional, but since you're already here and you will need to do a level up anyways in the future, just choose whatever. I believe we don't need Misty Step anymore for the next level, so that doesn't matter. And yeah, just choose whatever else, I guess. And then for our feet, we're going to choose Alert for our tab as well. Then for Shadow Hearts level, it doesn't matter, so we can cancel it, or you can take it if you want. And then we're just going to long rest, auto select it, should uh, do this cutscene really quick, and then we're just going to leave camp. So from here, we're already at the end of the act, so we're just going to jump there. So enhance the better fall and we're just going to jump this direction and head to Baldur's Gate. So for this cutscene we just right click through all of it. It's pretty standard. And this is the campsite at the end of the act. So if you didn't recruit Jahira before, Jahira will be here in this campsite. If she's not here, that means Jahira has not joined your party at all, so that is a big issue and you will need to restart your run. So once again, it's one of those two places where Jahira can be. So if you want to recruit Jahira here, or are recruiting Jahira here, you would cast Enhanced Leap on Jahira. And then Jahira would be the one jumping in this direction to Withers. And Withers would be all the way at the end of this camp, right here in this room. So, if you didn't recruit Jahira before, just do that instead and do the same exact respec of levels. If you already did that, then all you need to do is just long rest from here. So from here, we're just going to choose whatever option, it doesn't matter, and we will start the big gift fight. So from here, uh, we're going to have Jahira just all jump all the way to the astral portal immediately. That's done just by doing enhanced sleep, and just jumping literally all the way to the astral portal. And that should end this first combat sequence here. So from here, we're going to ungroup our team. And we're not going to we're going to be avoiding all of this combat that's going on here. So there's a lot of combat sequences that are going on. And we're just going to avoid all of them. Uh, there's two methods to this. So one of them is the kidnapping method, so if you want to do kidnapping, this is a lot faster. Kidnap your Tav with Jahira by doing the same left click, right click animation cancel that we did in Act 2 to cancel the throw animation. It can be sometimes difficult, 
so it might take a while to get. And then you can just jump over with Jahira all the way to the end sequence here. Don't worry about Shadow Heart, Shadow Heart should not follow. Make sure your entire party is not grouped together. From here, you can grab a Void Bulb here. It's not 100% necessary, but it can be useful. And here we're just going to jump all the way down there. If you are not kidnapping, you can just have both your Tav and Jahira jump down the same way. So you would just have Jahira jump down, for instance, one area there, and then have your Tav jump and follow with her. And this is an entirely glitchless way to do this as well. So once you do that, both your Tav and Jahira are at this end sequence right here. And yeah, we're going to be entering this big gift fight, which can be very difficult, so I'm going to prep everything that's going to be necessary right before we do that. Before the Gift Yankee fight, we're going to go ahead and prep a lot of our spells and stuff here. So there's four Gift Yankee that we have to kill at this end sequence of the game. And we're going to go ahead and do it by using Throw with Jahira. And to do this, we're going to buff Jahira quite a bit here. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff to prep before we enter this fight. So for our Taff, we're going to be casting Dash and Enlarge on Jahira. And then for Jahira, we're going to be uh, drinking the Speed Potion, which should we should have gotten from Balthazar. And yeah, for the Void Bulb as well that we picked up earlier, we're just going to give that to our Taff here. And I'm going to be doing this very much all together here in one very quick motion because you are pretty time restricted on all of these actions here. So I'm going to show how it looks, just like so. So cast in large, cast dash. For Chihiro we cast dash, drink the speed potion, and start running in. And if we do it correctly, we should enter the cutscene with all our buffs here. So from here, we just choose whatever action, and the fight should start right here. So now, with our Tav, we're going to be using this first Void Bulb here to try to get this one uh, Gif Yankee to fall down here. It's not guaranteed, so if you get unlucky, you'll have to just take an extra turn to kill one of these top Gif Yankee here, because we can't jump twice in the same turn. So we're going to go ahead and do that by just throwing it at around this top rock here. So if I get lucky, he should come down. If not, it's fine. And there we go. So now he's down at the bottom. So that's all the action that our Tav needs to do. If you didn't grab the Void Ball boat earlier, because you if you have cast a dash, you should be able to pick up this Void Bulb instead. <laughs> So we can do it like that. I did get knocked out of Enlarge there because this gift was uh, too close. So now Jahira doesn't have advantage on throws, but that should be fine. So from here, we're going to have Jahira do everything here. So with Jahira, we're going to be throwing every one of these guys off the edge. So we have to aim pretty precisely sometimes to get the throw to su be successful. And that can happen sometimes where uh, you get hit by an NPC. But yeah, sometimes these throws are very like accurate that you need to do. But you should be able to do this on both keyboard and mouse and on console. So if we fail the throw, it's fine. We just means that we lose a throw action and have to try it again. And... There we go. If you are having trouble with a throw, like say this person is too far to throw to that death area, what you can do is use improvised melee weapon on them, and then left click to throw them in this direction, and then right click to cancel the action to get them closer to the edge. Uh, I don't think you can do it on controller. On controller, if you can't do it, then 
what you can do is throw him to like closer to the edge where you can throw and because you have thrown them once uh, they'll be prone and the second throw action should be a lot more successful so just keep on throwing them all until they all are down there once again we can just start making our way to this third one to throw and notice that if you don't have any more turn actions this is where action surge comes in where we cast action surge to get a bonus throw here so i get one here and then we're going to jump up top to this last gif yankee and throw that last one off the edge as well so if you're successful all of them should be dead in one turn just like so and then we get this long cutscene. So here, it doesn't really matter what option we select from there. I'm just going to right click to get past all of this. And we're going to not become Analipid here, so we just choose option 6. Choose option 3. Just choose all the last options here. So say you're not in the lipid because we don't want to get the fly option for our jump since it's a lot slower. Say no. And we get the astral tadpole and the portal to the material plane should open. So if you're not able to do this all in one turn, it's fine. Generally you should be able to kill at least two of them. If you are like the most unlucky two you can get pretty easily just by understanding how this combat sequence works if you are struggling a lot it is something that you need to learn a lot for i have practiced this quite a bit to understand a lot of the, a lot of the quirks about it for instance all these intellect devourers can also get in the way so that can be annoying uh, the Gif Yankee can have initiative over you, which can, like, lose you a lot of time. But that's very, very rare because they have to roll a nat 20, for instance. Otherwise, uh, yeah. For every other turn that comes, like, afterwards, like, you do have around two turns before you do get lethargic from the speed potions where you can't make turn actions but you should be able to t kill at least three of them and when three of them are dead that's when the emperor will kill the last one since if three are dead then he'll start using his more powerful spells on the last one so he should be able to defeat the last one on his own and if either any of your characters die it should be fine you should be able to have like a revivify scroll or your tab for instance but you do want to make sure that Jahira doesn't die since that she's pretty crucial for the rest of the game here but once we get to the end of this fight we just leave the plane to here and we're just going to long rest and we should be able to enter act 3 after this long rest here so that's it for part 3 of this tutorial it's a bit shorter this time around since I am very busy this week and next week and I just wanted to get something out for now. So hopefully you all enjoyed it. And as always, make sure to stay tuned, like and subscribe to keep updated on the next routes and stuff. And for future runs and things that you'll see on this channel. <laughs>